For over three decades, WWE superstars have come to this event with one thing in mind, survive. Welcome everyone to Survivor Series. For one night only, fantasy warfare becomes real. For tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. Definitely on these superstars here tonight. Anytime you have the opportunity to compete on a pay-per-view, you can bet the whole WWE Universe will be watching. Michael 
say it earlier, the entire WWE Universe is undoubtedly watching this match. And while I've never competed on a WWE pay-per-view, I would have to think that it's pretty nerve-wracking. Just the fact that they let you commentate on a WWE pay-per-view is enough, Saxton. I can't imagine actually having to see you compete in the ring. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. A dizzy drop for sure. Years later, I still get goosebumps when I watch a WWE pay-per-view. It takes me back to when I was a kid. My friends would come over to watch WrestleMania or SummerSlam. Uh -oh. oh my goodness, crunching it! Oh, what a kick! Back in from the apron. Brought in the hard way. Looking around this arena tonight, there appear to be plenty of youngsters in attendance who will undoubtedly look back at this night with great fun, as much like Byron did when he watched WWE pay-per-views in his youth. Don't sleep on the true headline of Saxon's little antidote there, Cole. He actually said he had friends come over to his house. I think we're ready to fact-check that one, because I'm not buying it. Nice. Second time we're seeing this here. I gotta say, I don't remember the last time I heard a more passionate crowd than the one we have here tonight. They are clearly, uh-oh, Asuka is looking to end it. Oh, sliding hip attack. She's in the driver's seat now. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Asuka looking uneasy now. She doesn't appear too concerned about it, man. In addition to this crowd being incredibly passionate here tonight, so are our fans watching at home. In fact, it's because of them I've learned that this match is currently the number one trend worldwide on social media. That's pretty amazing, Cole. Just goes to show that WWE truly is a global phenomenon. Using the finisher here, pretty. She fights out, but that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. Running hip attack. What impact? Point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you, bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. As you were saying, the Oscar getting ready here. She's got her now. The damage has been done. This is Asuka's chance. If you ask me, there's a pin now. Oh, ouch. Tell me what Asuka can do here to improve her chances. This is not all where she hoped to be at this point in the match. She's absolutely off her game right now. And if she doesn't get it together, her night's going to be over. Well, that was some reversal by Tamina. Asuka turns it around. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about. Just a little misstep on her part. Tamina is in a world of hurt people. I think a lot of people share Corey's earlier sentiment. This match is undoubtedly one of the highlights of this pay-per-view. Rich Byron is stacked with a series of amazing matches. Yeah, we get to sit here and call all of them. Sometimes I have to pinch myself. I still can't believe how lucky we are. Guys, there's something special about competing on a... WWE pay-per-view event. Sure, having a match on Raw or SmackDown is absolutely amazing. But there's nothing quite like the bright lights of a WWE pay-per-view. Now it's Tamina Snuka. I 
think she's trying to prove a point here. This. And she slams her back down. I agree with your earlier point, Michael. There's nothing like the bright lights of a WWE pay-per-view. But there's also nothing like the pressure of competing on a WWE pay-per-view. A loss here could set you back quite a bit. Yeah, but a win. Not a good job getting to the ropes there. Yeah, that could have been bad.
is not good at all. She is on fire. And our partner wants in for it. It's about time. Sounding like a fanboy, guys. I couldn't be more excited about this pay per view. I mean, from top to bottom, we have one exciting match after another. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Look at her go. He gets her with the fist. Oh, that was a vicious shot. You're absolutely right, Byron. This is without a doubt one of the most stacked pay-per-view cards we've had in recent memory. I'd say it's reminiscent of More Mercy in 2007 when treat your big-time matches one night after the other. Good call, Cole. That was an app. Nia Jax, big ball. Oh, 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 what a leg drop. Oh, makes my stomach hurt. Oscar needs a miracle. Down goes the referee. There's just no getting out of the way of that one. And she's driven down hard. This might just be the end of the road for her. Nia Jax is measuring her. Oh, man! That looks like it hurts. That's it. That's what she needed. Got the shoulders down. The pen's broken up. And she lands a hellacious DDT. Seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys, and when that happens, you can bet this one's gonna be over. Oh, the dreaded claw to the oh, shoulder, man! Nope, reverses it. Here she goes, guys. There's the switch. Carmella is in. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And given how impactful that move has been as of late, I can say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week. But that's even possible. She hits her with a wicked elbow. the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. There have been a lot of great moments on pay-per-view over the years. And for me, one of my favorites was watching Kurt Angle's debut match at the 1999 Survivor Series. All my buddies and I gathered around the TV cheering on our hometown boy. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it. That was impressive. Carmella just barely got out of the way. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Back to Kurt Angle's WWE debut. We should... Oh, she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Oh, what a headbutt. Carmella with a nice reversal. Carmella has eyes to finish. Oh, silence! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. If Carmella hits, this one's over. Carmella is jeez. Incredible. There it is. Now the question is, can Carmella finish? She goes for the cover.
As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go forward and miss, that can be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. And it's Asuka making a move. Shifting focus to that arm. Now, she just needs to finish her off. This is Asuka's chance. And she's able to break out of it. The lesson to learn here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Spinning kick to the gut. I think this match is starting to take it all out of her, guys. And for her sake, we just hope this isn't the beginning of the end for her, especially considering it's been such a tightly fought contest up to this point. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they gotta take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. surprise as the sold out signs went up early on this one guys anytime a wwe pay-per-view rolls into town you can bet it will be the hottest ticket around naomi is tagged in naomi wants everyone to know that she's in charge God, she is on fire. This pay-per-view crowd really showing their appreciation for what has been a great match so far. Oh man, she's rolling now. Clear to me, these superstars are looking to impress everybody watching this pay-per-view tonight. It's just too bad Saxton isn't doing the same. And she drops her. That was about as in your face as it gets. Wow, what a slam. Naomi is starting to look a little uneasy. But you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. Her opponent's finally showing signs of life here. For a moment there, I thought she was gonna cruise to victory. She escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. Take it to the chest here. Man, I think we're seeing the end for Ruby Riot. I don't know how much more punishment she can take. It's over at this point. Can you still feel the glow when the lights are out? Game, set, match. This one is over. Now Naomi needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Targeting the back of the neck now. He's got her in her sights. There it is. It is. It's locked in. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Now Asuka is showing how they do it back in Japan. Once she had it locked in, there was no escape. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. I don't like
like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Yo, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next episode. And I'll see you there. Peace. Out. Yo, also follow me on Twitter at IconicWolf. And hit follow me on Twitch at TwitchTV slash IconWolf. See you there and peace.